Hey, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my weekly photo chats. And I want to start by saying, I say this at the end of every video, but I realized somebody said that a lot of people don't watch to the end. In fact, are you somebody who watches to the end? In fact, I'd love some feedback on how far do you watch my videos? Because according to my analytics, it says that most people don't watch more than half my videos. Which means most people never hear me asking and thanking my Patreon supporters. And it's been really tough this last year trying to get freelance work, working as a commercial photographer with so many businesses not assembling in their businesses and people working from home. It hasn't been the easiest to get freelance work. So I've been upping the videos and trying to increase some revenue as a revenue stream from that. but. YouTube doesn't really pay me hardly anything and I make a few bucks with uh, Patreon and that's kind of been my lifeline. So if you are able in any way to just donate even two, three, five dollars a month, that would be a huge, huge win for keeping these going. And I want to keep making these. I worry sometimes I'll run out of things to talk about if I'm making three a week, but I haven't yet. So. I'll just keep working on making these. And I love coming into your living room or wherever you watch me. And I feel like it's an honor to be a spokesman for something to do with film photography in this world where photography has changed so much. But it's also interesting because as much as people who listen to my show like my show, my subscriptions haven't reached big giant numbers like other people. I hear people on podcasts saying, yeah, I was out for a year and suddenly I had 100,000 subscribers. And that quantity of subscribers ends up generating a uh, real income. That's why they become YouTube. That's their main job is because they're making YouTube videos. But I wonder if some of it is age. And if you're a 20 year old making videos and you have friends who are 20 year olds, I wonder if they're more willing to watch videos from somebody other than somebody like me who's not quite 20 and but I still age pretty well right but the idea is I wonder if there is something to people if you're younger you have a better chance of building an audience and I thank you for being a part of my audience and I do sometimes get little toss outs like I was walking in Denver during the Joe Biden victory parade people I'd impromptuly put together and somebody came up to me and says, Hey, I know you, I recognize you from your show. So there is some local recognition and probably in other places people might recognize me, but I'm certainly not a star and I certainly can't count on YouTube revenue. So if I can appeal to you to contribute a little something, I have a website I built just for people to help in this time of pandemic, I built it last year because of the pandemic, and it's just supportkenneth.com. And there's ways you can contribute to this show or to the Wise Photo Project to help me get film and frames. Anything you can do, I thank you so much. That's a big, big help. All right, on with today's show. So today I'm going to talk about collections and how the collections that we have, we may not even realize. There was a photographer forget who it is. It might be Jeff Mergle, Min Mergleman. And he's a photographer who I think he has a series of balloon heads. He was photographing somebody and a kid was holding a balloon and it was in the exact position to block out the person who was the adult with him. And he went through his work and he realized he had a whole lot of those. So he ended up putting together uh, or he's building a collection of pictures of people with balloon heads. And another photographer, might be the same one, was talking about, he noticed he had a picture of a woman twirling her hair. And then he noticed he had several of them. And then because it was in his consciousness, he started noticing it more and more. So he started making more pictures of women twirling their hair. And he's either going to make that into a book or a series or something. But it's almost like when you buy a car and then everybody has that car suddenly. You become aware of it because you 
now have it in your consciousness, which before there was no reason to put it there. So for Valentine's Day, I did a post on lovers because I have a lot of photos of lovers in different positions, sometimes, you know, more warmly, sometimes not so much. And I ended up putting a post together. I think it had something like 40 photographs of lovers in various positions that I ended up finding them in the street when I'm working at making street photographs. So that's the kind of thing where if you are going through your archive, go through and see if you find something that's that thing that you can say, wow, I do see some consistency here because now you'll perk up when you see more and you'll shoot more. And it can be really anything. It can be old cars. It can be people walking down the street with dogs and you're shooting them from dog level. It can be a lot of things, but the goal is to make something that is repetitive, that people can see the consistency. Joe Meyerowitz has a book on flowers and he noticed people in his pictures either were carrying flowers or women were wearing flower print dresses. And he made a whole book out of flowers. And I'd recommend it. I think it's a fun book. And that's the kind of thing where they come after the fact. You just go out and work. Just do your work. All the time as photographers, we have to go out and make work and do our work. But sometimes it's good to take a look at what we have. And you might find that there is something that's good to make a collection out of and to start building into a bigger collection now if you see it. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, and thank you so much, hit the Patreon, and I'll be back next week, and we'll talk photography. As always, here's the good light.